The second practice problem is to import the date time module as an abbreviation instead of as a whole word like I did right here, because it's annoying to have to write the whole thing out. And then to instantiate now as a date and a date time. So all I need to do is say import date time as dt. Now I'll have to go back here and cheat and see how to do this. I want to instantiate a date. So let's do um, today. So I need date, uh, dot date today. But I can abbreviate dt dot date today instead of having to write the whole thing out. Now let's have it print now. And we want, let's see, let's just, because we're lazy, let's have it go ahead and print it in the ISO format. Oh, I got two dots in there. Oops, let's try it again. There we go, we got it. And then if we want to instantiate uh, a date time instance, we say dt dot date time dot, and I think we want to use UTC now. Yep. And then we can say that we want to print right now. But using the ISO format method. Let's see if that works. Okay, great. It worked. So basically, because I wanted to use both uh, date objects and date time objects, it makes sense for me not to do two separate things. Although I could have done that. I could have said from date time import date. And then I would just be able to say See if that works. It does. 